over the past few years, I've been at an Indiana amusement park for Labor Day weekend. In 2021 and 2023, I was at Holiday World. And then in 2022, I was at Indiana Beach. For this year, I'm not at either of those parks, but rather I'm at Silver Dollar City. We are looking at a chance of rain today, so hopefully it keeps the crowds away. If not, we should still try and have a good time. Now, I did not get to ride the new fire in the hole when I came in March, because it was down at least 70% of the time. It was always over an hour away when it was open. So we're gonna hopefully get on that. The line isn't too bad for it. And also I'm excited to get back on Outlaw Run, Powder Keg, and Time Traveler. So let's have a good time. You might be thinking to yourself, do you start off with fire in the hole because you've never ridden it? Now, I'm going to Outlaw Run, which is my favorite ride in this park. And also this thing is actually the best RMC I've ridden this year, because I've rode several RMCs over the summer, including some of the ones down in Texas, as well as others like Iron Gwazi and Air Force One. So I'm intrigued to see how Outlaw Run compares to the rest of them, which Outlaw Run is still my second favorite RMC after Lightning Rod at Dollywood. But with the way Outlaw Run's been running over the last few trips I've made here, it's been starting to give Lightning Rod a run for its money. So we're gonna see how it runs today. If the track is wet, I have heard that it can overshoot the brakes, which that's the other reason why I'm doing this thing first, because if it rains today or later and Outlaw Run overshoots the brakes, it possibly could close early. So make sure I get on it multiple times, I'm doing that first. And then I'm gonna either try the new fire in the hole, that line isn't too bad, or I'm gonna go all over and get on powder keg. So once rope drop happens, it's off to Outlaw Run. Just got the first ride of the day on Outlaw Run, front row Zen Ride. That thing is running really good today, despite being the only one on the train. The tracks were maybe a little bit wet, but not that wet, but it was still running flawlessly. And it still remains the best RMC I rode this year. And I know that's unpopular because I just rode Iron Gwazi and Air Force One recently, and a lot of people say those are the best RMCs. I only rode Outlaw Run once, and I would have done it multiple more times, but once I got back to the station, one of the write-offs told me that they heard from someone who is one of the head people at this park that around 10.30 there might be storms hitting. So to make sure I get on Powder Keg before that happens, I'm doing that right now. So we got a little bit of the front row, but we're waiting it out. Let's see how this SMS Air Launch Coaster runs today, because I rode it back in March four times, and it was magnificent. Let's see if it's any better today. as one of my top three wooden coasters, only a couple hours away from me. And I can also say that about the Voyage of Holiday World, which is also about three hours from me. And then I have Boss at Six Black St. Louis about 30 minutes away. I'm gonna check out the new fire in the hole. Since I've had this direction, I still haven't done that one yet. All of the Silver Dollar City app says it's been down most of the day. So I'm gonna double check that, see if it's open. Otherwise, I'm gonna go try and get a ride or two on Wildfire. So let's head over towards the new fire in the hole and see if it's open. <laughs> After waiting over at Fire 
good today and it was definitely better than my rise in March. And I checked the Silver Dollar City app and it said Fire in the Hole is back open. And it also said it's a zero minute wait, which that second half I do not believe. So I'm gonna go over there and get on it and see how this one is because I'm intrigued to see how this one is compared to the original version of Fire in the Hole, which closed at the end of last year. So let's take a run on it and see how it is. beforehand and this mock rides extreme spinner is actually on trial because my rides back in march were not the greatest so if it runs like it did in march i'm gonna have to drop it in my list so let's go over there see if we can get on it once before that cave tour and see if i can justify keeping it in my top 25 because right now i think it's barely in there but it's on thin ice so let's see how it runs <laughs>
elevation change as well as the stuff I had to walk through on all the tight pathways. I can't say I was a fan. Now I'm finally gonna ride Time Traveler and the app said it was a five minute wait. So I'm gonna get multiple laps on this and see if it can justify a top 25 spot for me still. <laughs> It's strength so good. <laughs> Traveler and each ride was amazing. Now I'm gonna do something that I feel like is a terrible idea. For those of you who saw my Kings Island vlog recently, you know that I recently got the chance to ragdoll Adventure Express. And that turned out to be kind of insane. Actually, very really insane. So I figured I'd try and do that, but on Thunder Ration, see how that goes. Now, this thing is definitely rougher than Adventure Express, and I've got a bad feeling about this. So let's see how this ride runs today. <laughs> never shared my reaction to any of the other rides I got on after Thunderation. As for how Thunderation was running, I actually thought it ran decently smooth this time. The train that I had been on was actually one that I saw under refurbishment in March, so maybe that's why it felt smoother. But in terms of ragdolling, it wasn't as crazy as I'd hoped it would be, so I still prefer Adventure Express. I then got on the new Fire in the Hole a couple more times, including another ride in the front, as well as my first time riding it in the back. After thinking it over for a while, I decided that the new version is better than the old version. The old version may have had better forces, but the on-ride soundtrack and better theming of the new version put it over the top for me. And then I got a couple more rides on Outlaw Run to end the day. And my final ride count was 7 on Outlaw Run, 5 on Time Traveler, 4 on Fire in the Hole, 3 on Wildfire, 2 on Powder Keg, and then 1 on Thunderation as well as American Plunge, which I also did that since that was a walk-on. In terms of highlights, Outlaw Run was running phenomenal, still the best RMC I rode this year, Time Traveler was giving better rides than back in March, and it was awesome to get on the new version of Fire in the Hole even though my first ride was disappointing. And before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel, on Lockway Saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you can notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog, it's a vlog I've been really anticipating, and that is Six Flags St. Louis's Ace Event Daredevil Days, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you later. <laughs>